I heard you're buying a house. What kind of house is it? It's a detached house, right? Where is it located? Hello, Paris. I was going to inform you after the move. How did you find out so fast? Never mind about my info sources. When are you moving in? We're still in the process of purchasing the house, so not yet. Don't you have an idea, Ofen? We hope to make it by the end of next month. End of next month? How many rooms are there? Why don't you ask William? He won't tell me. He's always been such a cold brother. I can't tell you if William didn't want to tell you. What? Who do you think you are? I'm asking you a question. All you have to do is answer it. Well, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but... I honestly don't want to tell you. Why not? What's wrong with me asking about your house? When I told you about my wedding dress shopping, you came without asking me in advance. And you tried to force me to buy what you wanted while ignoring my opinion. I was just trying to help you by giving you advice. In the end, you bought what you wanted. But I'm sure my favorite dress would have looked better. Do whatever you want with your own wedding, but don't interfere with weddings of others. Plus, you tried to accompany us on our honeymoon too, weren't you? You two are going to Paris, the one place I've always wanted to go. You contacted the travel agency and asked them to arrange the plan to add another person and try to have them send the bill to us. But I couldn't go because you guys refused to pay. Then you demanded us to buy you a high brand bag as a souvenir. I mean... I've never heard of anyone who had their family accompany them on their honeymoon. Don't tell me you're going to hold that against me forever. Now, are you really not gonna tell me your new home address? I'm William's sister. What are you going to do with all that info about our new house? I'm going to move in with you. Move in? Even if you have a child, you can all share one room until the kid grows up. One room for me and one room for you. So, a two-bedroom house would be fine. But I'm assuming your new house to be big. So, there must be more rooms to spare. Don't tell me you were planning to move into our house without permission. If I move in with you guys, it'll be much more fun. The more people, the livelier, right? Our family house has become old, so I was thinking of moving out soon. It's mine and William's house, not yours. We shall never allow you to move in. I know you're going to buy the house with the money you won from the lottery. You should share the profit you got by luck. Why would you even mention the lottery? I'm sure the house is gorgeous since you won the lottery. I'm looking forward to it. If you're moving at the end of next month, I'll be ready to move in the month after next. I haven't agreed to live with you. What's wrong with having a sister-in-law? Besides, when you have kids in the future, it'll be more convenient for you to have me there. Oh, and if you ever need to buy new furniture, let me know. I'll coordinate it all. I know from the wedding that I can't trust your sense of style. No need. 
Lilium, I had 15 calls from your sister today. She sent me a lot of pictures of furniture and interior coordination. No matter what we say, she won't listen to us. I'm sorry, Aaron, that my sister is bothering you. I've been getting a lot of calls and texts, too. I turned off my notifications. I can't block her since she's my family, but you can't block her, you know? If I block her, she'll use other ways to contact me via SNS. I think she might even change her phone number to contact me. Bobo, if she can't contact us, she's likely to come to our house, don't you think? Right. She knows our current address, right? Yeah, she knows. William, you already said no to her, right? About moving in together? Of course I said no. She's a troublemaker. She doesn't even work and just tries to depend on others for her living. There's no way we're living with her, knowing she will cause trouble. Thank you. But I still have to do something about it. I can't even concentrate on my work if I keep getting all these calls and all. Me neither. I want to call my clients, but it's bothersome when there are so many calls from your sister. She has so much free time to disturb us like this. Why won't she just move out on her own? She doesn't have any money. She doesn't want to get a job. And has always been living off my parents' money. I told my parents to stop supporting her financially and make her get a job. But they've spoiled her too much. I guess it's difficult for her to change now if... She was spoiled all these years, but my dad's about to retire. I think he's probably told her that he can't take care of her any longer. He's probably trying to get her to apply for a job and become independent. So that's why she now wants to live with us. She's trying to depend on us instead of our parents. She knows we both work and have a good income. Also, she knew I won the lottery. I don't want to have anything to do with her anymore. It's going to be a problem later on, having to support her in every way. She's always been persistent when there's something she wants. I really need to think about how to deal with her. About that. I've been thinking. Do you have any ideas on how to deal with her? Well, I'll have to talk to the real estate people about it first. Also, it's going to cost a little bit of money. So, we need to be very careful about this. Don't worry about the money. I'm in as long as we can cut ties with my sister. Are you really sure about cutting ties with her? Of course. I don't want her to threaten our lives anymore. Okay, I'll tell you my plans tonight. I'm really sorry about the wedding, uh, the honeymoon, and Van Bis. I'm sorry for all the things my sister has put you through. It's not your fault. So, you don't have to apologize. No matter how awful your sister is, my feelings towards you will never change. Thank you, Aaron. I'll try my best to return home early today. The moving company is on their way! Please stay home since I haven't gotten the key yet. What are you talking about? Very funny. 
I said I was moving in with you guys. You guys moved in at the end of last month, right? Wait a minute. We didn't tell you our new address, did we? I did a little research on that. See, I'm on the computer all day and have plenty of free time. There are people who identify all kinds of information. I asked those people for tips on how to identify an address. No way. You have a private Instagram account, right? You've been posting pictures of you and William going out to the same cafe lately. Every week since the beginning of last month. What does that have to do with my new address? The cafe in the picture is far from your old house. The fact that you went all the way there on your days off, that means you two have something to do near that cafe. That means that the new house you're planning to move into is probably close. I suspect that you two were busy prepping the place. But how can you find out which house just by that? I looked at the location of that cafe in the pig. And I found several houses around that area that were out for sale until recently. I knew your taste in weddings. So this is the house, right? What? You're kidding, right? I could be a detective. I was able to identify the address with just a few pics. I'll move in today, as planned. Wait a minute. It's you who's going to be in trouble if you move in. There's no stopping me. Well then, I'm on my way there now. We won't be at the house. What? You're going out? Then go home right now and leave the door unlocked. Okay? No, that's not the point. You haven't come back yet? I just got here. I have to put my luggage in. Hurry up and open the door. You're taking too long. I had no choice but to let myself in. What? How did you get in? There's nothing in this house. You guys haven't moved in yet? Wait a minute. You didn't have a key. How did you get in? I broke the window. The moving company will be here soon. I don't have a key, so I didn't have a choice. You guys should pay for the new window. I told you I was coming, and I told you to wait for me with the door unlocked. You can't just break into a house like that. It's not like I broke into a stranger's house. What belongs to my brother is mine, so it's okay. We live in a townhouse. What? A townhouse? What are you talking about? I thought you bought a detached house. We bought a new townhouse. No kidding. I was sure you bought a detached house. When you first asked me about our house, we were considering buying an existing detached house and had already signed the contract. We even paid some money for it. So why are you in a townhouse? Well, before paying the rest of the money, the real estate agent told us that the newly built popular townhouse had a cancellation. We went to take a look and it was great, so we decided to switch to that townhouse. 
You won the lottery, so you could have bought a new mansion. We did win the lottery, but it's only like 20k dollars. It's not enough to buy an expensive house. Only 20k dollars? So that's how we ended up in this townhouse. Then this house is... That house belongs to someone else. Why didn't you tell me earlier? They've already started putting my stuff in. Well, it's you who got it all wrong, trying to move in without permission. We bought a townhouse in a completely different area. Different area? You contacted us every day, insisting on living with us. After much thought and consideration, William and I gave up on the house we had signed a contract for. The down payment is non-refundable, right? What a waste. If we can cut ties with you, it's a small price to pay. After all, the down payment is only about $5,000. Cutting of ties? It's a good opportunity, so we're gonna cut ties with you. What are you talking about? By the way, the picture of the house you just sent us is not the one we were considering. I have never seen it. Where are you right now? What? Wait, what? What do you mean you don't know this place? The cafe you guys were at is around here, right? Yes, since you were calling and texting us like crazy, we got scared thinking you might be following us around. I discussed things with William, and we decided to go to random places on our days off. Random places? We went on a drive and had lunch at random places, far from our new house. After making sure we weren't being followed, we went to see random houses and went to random real estate offices as well. No way. So this house that I'm in right now has nothing to do with you? I'm sorry to say this, but what you are doing is something that you could be caught for. Oh no! You broke a window and entered someone's house without permission but there's nothing in this house wasn't there a piece of paper on the front door something saying things like this house has been cleaned come to think of it there was a sign that said something like that I thought you hired someone to do the cleaning since you guys earn quite a lot of money. That's proof that place has a buyer. And that person must be moving in soon. What? If the house has been cleaned, it means the house is ready for occupancy. What should I do? I've already put my stuff in here. Come pick me up with the truck. I can't put this all in my car. We can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know where you are and we don't want to be involved in you anymore. Then give me the address of your townhouse. I'll get a truck somehow and go there right away. Then what's the point of all our hard work this past month. I can't believe this. But honestly, I'm glad we decided to purchase this townhouse. I'm not gonna tell you any details, but we love it here. I guess it's all thanks to you we found out about this place. 
If you're going to thank me, help me out. If the real residents of this place come here, it would be a big problem. I can't run away leaving my stuff. You're a grown woman, and you're responsible for your own actions. Please take responsibility for what you did. We had nothing to do with it. We never agreed to live with you in the first place. Do you want me to get arrested by the police? I don't mind at all. I'm your husband's sister. Your own brother is saying that he's fine with it too. What? We never agreed to have you move in with us. All the evidence in the texts you sent us. There's nothing we can do for you now. We don't owe you anything either. Wait a minute. There's a car parked in front of this house. You guys came to pick me up? We're going to watch a movie now in our new home. The car is in our garage. Wait. So whose car is this? Isn't it the resident who bought the house or the real estate agent who manages it? Or is it a police car that came because someone called them thinking you were a thief or something? No, I don't want to get caught. Please come pick me up right now. I'll send you my location. No, thank you. And as I said before, we are going to cut ties with you. When visiting your parents, we'll make sure you're absent. So I doubt we'll see each other ever again. I'm your husband's sister. Are you really going to abandon me? Hey, Aaron. I won't cause any trouble from now on. Please help me this once. I'm begging you. Aaron? I then blocked and deleted her contact information. My husband blocked her as well. I heard via my in-laws that she ended up encountering the person who had purchased the house. They called the police and she was sentenced to probation. My in-laws refused to let her live at their house, so she ended up as a cleaning lady. The cost of re-cleaning the house, window repairs, and compensation is making her life difficult. She has not been working for a long time, so it was a good opportunity for her to learn how to be a part of society again.